Understandably, the idea of projection as the basis for the creation and evolution of the physical universe is a difficult concept to grasp. The best explanation that I have encountered is that this fundamental process is happening all the time. We are just not aware of it consciously. The Casey readings insist that the mental realm of thoughts and ideas has its own reality. In other words, thoughts are real things. Another common expression in the Casey readings is that mind is the builder. Some metaphysical systems use the expression of mind over matter to express the same basic concept. Somehow the outer reality that we experience with our senses flows from the inner landscape of mind and spirit. According to Casey, this is not simply a matter of mental projection. A spiritual impetus precedes the mental process. Spirit is the life or life force, mind is the builder, and physical is the result. Just as the spiritual first cause moved and brought souls into being in the mind of the Creator, there is always a spiritual motivation that precedes mental projection into physical reality. Let me provide an example from many years of experience in operating my own construction company. When prospective customers contacted me about building a house, I noticed that they were being motivated by desire of one sort or another. It might have been the desire for a larger house to meet the needs of an expanding family. The desire may have been more a matter of aesthetics and beauty. For some, it was the desire to get ahead of others in a material sense. By the way, the readings note that desire is a spiritual attribute. It moves us. That is the hallmark of spirit, movement. The readings refer to this type of movement or motivation as a spiritual ideal. There is always a spiritual ideal behind any motivation. It just may not be a very high ideal. Once spirit has moved, the mind takes over and shapes the energy into forms and patterns. In the case of construction, this is the development of blueprints, specifications, permits, etc. Once the mind has formulated the proper forms and paperwork, the actual physical construction can take place. This simple three-step dance of materialization, spiritual, mental, physical, is responsible for every object around you. The readings even advocated an ideals exercise as a means of becoming more conscious in applying this process. In terms of human creation and evolution, the same process of materialization applies. It began with spirit that projected through the mind into the physical. The main difference between the ancient times of human creation and now is that souls were previously much more focused in the spiritual and mental realms. The mental vibration was higher and the materialization process could take place faster in a more direct manner. Like other adepts through the ages, Jesus probably used the power of his mind in seemingly miraculous ways such as changing water into wine, manifesting bread and fishes, and so forth. With the downward sweep of involution over the millennia, earthbound souls, for the most part, have gradually lost the capacity for direct mental materialization without physical effort. As the upward sweep of the evolutionary arc takes us back in the direction of our source, perhaps humans will regain the ability of direct materialization. Hopefully by then we will have learned to use the enormous power of spirit and mind more constructively as full co-creators with our source.